Can someone please explain to me why the NFL feels compelled to keep throwing it in our faces over and over and over and over and over that the league is becoming softer and softer? Do commercials get any more twisted than a 1964 hit, you don't own me, so I'm throwing a 2010 NFL jersey you bought me in your face for no good reason, other than the league wants me to start buying my own stuff at NFLshop.com? Just as the league is intensifying its efforts against unnecessary roughness, they bring this cheap shot campaign back. The stereotypical crazy chick throwing something in your face without a word of warning or reconciliation wrapped up in a nice melody and sweet voice concept is hilarious because we all know crazy chicks like that. First, the maniacal Miami chick knocked on her man's door and threw an $85 jersey he bought in his face and walked away. But we all know how crazy chicks get things twisted. Talk about ferocious head-hunting defenders hitting defenseless receivers and knocking them senseless. She came to the front door, but the guy never saw the hit coming. Dan Snyder, owner of the Washington Redskins, out on the town at his favorite swanky DC restaurant, where he's the king of the joint the instant he walks in. And lo and behold, his classy, Crazy chick date pulls a Donovan McNabb jersey out of her purse, throws it on the table like a napkin, and walks out and Snyder's sitting there looking like Jack Waltz. Where's the 46 karat diamond necklace that came with it? What about Ocho Psycho Bingo Broad? This crazy Cincinnati chick claws through the closet and hits her man with a three-punch combination of $250 worth of jerseys. Oh, and please, when you go out with me, don't put you on display. You're the one who wanted the jerseys in the first place. The craziest part, the stereotypical crazy Oakland Raiders chick is the same insensible one. NFL women's apparel fit for you. Get the draft me top at select retailers and NFLshop.com. It's all good, ladies. Your man doesn't own you. Roger Goodell does because you're the one buying the jerseys now. And talk about crazy irony. Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me reached number two on the Billboard Pop Singles chart in the U.S., right behind the Beatles, I want to hold your hand. And on a final note, Dan Snyder called this woman and reminded her that they have a contract and that he does in fact own her. This commando day, wasn't it? He ought to have his own show. Have you? Yeah, no kidding.